Hello my friends, how you all doing? Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. We're going to be doing some lip swatches and this was a highly requested video. You all wanted to see Lisa's lipsticks on my complexion. So here we have, here we go. Very, very excited. As you can see, I have all my makeup done and only the lippies to apply. Okay. First off, let's talk about her lipsticks, what they truly are, what you're getting, and all that good stuff. On her website, she describes their uh, her velvet lipsticks as these are matte lipsticks revolutionized with a saturated technique color formulation and a creamy texture with a slight sheen. Uh, that's a 3D and luscious, not a flat matte. So I do agree with that. They're not totally flat. You get a little bit of something. Uh, so intensely pigmented, it is easy to create either in one swap graphic lip statement or path gently for the ultimate subtle lip stain. But this is what the bullet look like. You get Lisa's logo right at top on each and every bullet. And these are stunning. Magnet, can you hear that? It is absolutely gorgeous. They're very, very weighty on the hands. They are very, very high quality. You get an 18th month shelf life on these lipsticks and they're made in Italy. Now, um, a little backstory on the lipsticks and my experiences because I have to be 100% transparent with you all. Um, these lipsticks are beautiful. The formula is stunning. They're very velvety matte, super, super saturated kind of lipsticks, but they break because they're very, very creamy. So do know that you have to be very careful with them. When I get one of these lipsticks, I don't pull it all the way up and like go to town. Mm -mm. I don't wanna do that with her lipsticks because they're very soft very very delicate it happened one time where i feel it was news and after that i was done i was so sad to you know to bro to break news because it was stunning shade and i think i don't i no longer have it in my collection uh but is what happens so a lot of people do know that already and we just keep buying them because they're that good so I don't even care that they break I just take my time I'm very careful when I apply them and I'm happy and I'm good to go so that's that <laughs> let's begin I am going to um, swatch them in against my complexion so you're able to see this is the shade in trick is one of the lightest shade that I have from her. So let's just go ahead with no lip liner and apply. Look what she says, the velvet on like a fabric is truly beautiful to look at on the lippy. But yeah, let's go ahead and apply. One swipe. And I am going to apply a little bit of foundation after I remove the lip in between so that you know that this is a true pigmentation from the lipstick. Next up we have Velvet Fawn and this is it. It is a little bit darker. Wait, let me pull it down because I don't want to break it. Um, this is it. A little bit more mauve than in Tricked, as you can see. But in the same notish category, now let's go ahead and apply it. Next up, we have the shade Velvet Affair which is sticking to 
nudes a little bit, sticking with those light shades, just a little bit darker at the bottom. Let's go ahead and apply. By the way, I am opening my velvet needles because I realized that I did put that one in the garbage, the one that I broke, and their customer service is outstanding. If you are within the 30 days or so, they will send you a replacement. They're very, very good. And this was actually a replacement from Lisa. So thank you so much. Um, they're really, really good. So let's go ahead and swatch. I think I'm going to remove this bracelet because it's really... In the way this is a little bit darker oh no I'm lying it's a little bit lighter than their previous but they're very close in tone Next up, I have Rose Official, which is a different kind of lipstick from her line. If you like more of that luminous lipstick, this is her formulation. This is her take on it. You get a little bit of glow, you get a little bit of shine. You do want to build them up because they're not as opaque as the velvets, but they're beautiful. I like her velvets a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, again, this is Rose Official. This is divine. Like the formula is very, very, very beautiful. I got this even though I love my matte lipsticks because I really wanted to try this formulation. And it is so hydrating and beautiful on the lips. Like again, if you're a fan of hydrating lipsticks, I think that these are very, very good to try out because they're stunning. Next up I have Dance Car, which is again another of that formulation. So I wanna Put them right after the other one. You can see the luminosity in that lippy. Next up, we have Velvet Blush. We're going back to the velvets. Let me put it down a little bit. And this is a deep, lumpy shade. Next up, I have Velvet Dragon, which is an orangey red. This is that shade. I think all I have left is reds. So we are going to have um, a lighter red and then deeper reds. So let's go uh, with Velvet Dragon.
beautiful shade beautiful orange it's like so stunning look at that. another very very popular one is this one which is called cinnabar it's like the best of both worlds the best of the red and an orange uh this is cinnabar for you beautiful rain such a stunning shade is like truly the best of both worlds the best of an orange mixed with a red it's just a beautiful fall color love it next up we have myth which is another kind of red but more cherry like or maybe like burgundish anyhow it is a beautiful beautiful red as well so let's go ahead and apply um myth We have a two more to go, so hang in there. Me too, because my lips are gonna fall off. But they're truly okay, actually, to be honest, because these are very comfy mats. Uh, Velvet Jazz, one cold favorite. This is the true holiday red. I love reds like this. Like, it's gotta be red. There is more red than the previous the previous is more plump and this is more red okay they're not the same just saying well the jazz velvet jazz it is a cool favorite for a reason i mean it is the red to have i just realized that i don't have velvet ribbon which is the true red because i don't really wear true reds to be honest so uh oh, let me take these off first last one the bumpiest of all i don't know i i don't even know if i can pull this off to be honest I bought it and uh, it is a brown, very, very deep shade. I bought it, but I don't think I wore it only for that video that one time because it's just so deep. Ooh, I guess I could dab it on, you know, or like wear it with a uh, very pale lipstick. I don't know. It's applied.
Alrighty friends, I put blush back on because it's truly one of my faves. I love this color, it's absolutely stunning. Um, if I said a couple of lipsticks before that my lips were okay, they're totally not. They're about to fall off. I actually went ahead and swatched 12 lipsticks for you all because I love you and I wanted to see what they look like on me. So here we have. This is our beautiful lineup of velvets and colors from Lisa Elridge. I feel like I have a good variety of them. The one that is coming is Sussery, Sussery, Sussery. The newest one, Nourish. So, I guess we'll compare it, right? At that point when I get them, I'll swatch maybe the nudes and I'll show you that one or I'll just swatch them. But do always refer back to this video because this was a lot to do. Yeah, no? Anyhow, friends, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you thought of these lipsticks. Do you own any in your collection? Uh, you know, which one is your fave on my complexion? Are you looking forward to her release? Any comments, just anything at all, leave them below. Thanks so much, you guys, for always loving and supporting. And I love you so, so much. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.